Are you ready for your real estate market update? Stay tuned. Step into the Valley, I'm Katrina with the Three Step Realty Group in the Tracy and Livermore areas. And today, we're going to review the real estate market for the Tracy and Livermore areas. It is currently 11.35 a.m. on Monday, February 13th. Let's get started with Tracy. Currently, we have 67 homes active and available on the market with 51 homes under contract. Last month, in January, 31 homes sold in Tracy. Out of those 31 homes, the average sold price was $676,000, which is down 7.5% from December and down 12.79% from January of last year. Now for Livermore. Currently, we have 30 homes on the market and available with 43 homes under contract. Last month in January, 40 homes sold. The average sold price of those 40 was just over 1.1 million, which is up 1.67% from December and down almost 14% from January of last year. You know, when we look at these numbers alone, I am not surprised why so many people I talk with believe we are heading for a housing crash. But there are at least a few more details we can review that show that we might not be. For example, our current year over year numbers which we have just shown you are down around 13%. It's limited data. It is only from January. We only have one month of data. We need a few more months to know and get a feel for where the 2023 trend is heading in our home prices. And boots on the ground. Toward the end of January to here current in February, I have personally seen an increase in local home buyer confidence. What I mean by that is not only myself, but some of my peer realtors in the area are experiencing an increase in home buying clients ready to start their home loan pre-approval process and buy their next home. The number of foreclosures is also a huge factor to consider as well. The end-year 2022 U.S. Foreclosure Market Report, which shows foreclosure filings such as default notices, scheduled auctions, and bank repossessions, reported foreclosure filings up to 115% from 2021. But here's the really important number, down 34% from 2019, before the pandemic hit. We take a look at this chart representing the U.S. foreclosure activity. We can see that while the number did double from 21 to 22, we are still below 2019 and way below the numbers from 2007 to 15. As I said earlier, we need a few more months of local data to start seeing a trend for this year. So with that being said, be sure to subscribe to our channel and we're going to keep you up to date on our local market trends. If you are thinking of selling your home now or this year, give us a call for a no strings attached consultation to see what it takes to get you top dollar. And if you're thinking about buying a home or investment property, Call us today to talk about your home buying options and affordable options available today. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, let us know by giving us a thumbs up. And of course, if you have any questions, drop us a comment below so we can get back to you and respond. And lastly, if you'd like to see more videos like this one, be sure to hit the subscribe button for more real estate advice and news. Talk to you soon.